Okay, so it turns out I might not be covering the Rod and Dragons custom car show on the Lambert Bill YouTube channel. Just waiting for a call back. I think they just called, so see what they have to say. Good afternoon, Shane. Hello. Hello. Hey, Shane. How's it going? Uh, good. Oh, this is Kyle. You betcha. Uh, okay, I talked to Ron. Rod. Since Gary's doing it, we're not allowing anybody at this year. If you're interested in doing it next year, you got to approach the club early, he said. Okay. Yeah. Because we've never, this is the first time we're allowing somebody to tape inside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, uh, the answer is no, I guess I should say, but if you're, if you're interested for next year, I yeah, no, I, well, yeah, no, I, I live in Vancouver, so, I mean, I just happened to be here uh, this weekend, and, you know, I grew up coming to the car show every year, uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add a couple of things, uh, I'm gonna insert a link here, uh, I, obviously, uh, went public or whatever with what I, with what happened, and, uh, you know, I posted on, uh, one car group, deleted very quickly. Um, obviously a car group that belongs to Dragons. Deleted, I'll insert uh, the post here. I screenshot it. So I'll insert it here, you guys can read it. And you can tell me what you think in the comments. I mean, I didn't really say anything. I kept it super professional, like always. Um, there's nothing bad saying in there. I think it was deleted because of other people's comments. I don't know. But anyways, like I say, I just kept it prof super professional and uh, just basically said it how it was, right? So, I mean, uh, it is what it is. I mean, uh, if they're letting one person um, vlog then why why aren't they letting others but then again at the end of the day it is what it is um i'm not worried about it this to me this is like a mickey mouse car show like it was just something to do while i was home yeah i was gonna vlog it so not a big deal i cover the three biggest car shows in western canada so i'm not worried about the dragon's custom car show like i'm not at all so that, that's what i find funny about it the way that they act is like like they have something super special here like, to, in all honesty, it's not that special. <laughs> I've seen special car car shows. I've seen, I've been to car shows with 3,000 cars. Biggest car show in North America. So, I just think it's funny uh, for, for that reason. Um, that, you know, the way they act on, oh, you know, people are trying to make money off the car show. And it's taking away from $20 and uh, you're going to make money, blah, blah, blah. I can turn my monetization on and off if I want to. So that's pretty easy, my ad revenue. So besides the point, and these car shows on the West Coast, you know, 3,000 cars, uh, 2,500 cars, 2,000 cars, 1,800 cars. Um, those car shows, they... They want me to vlog their shows. They want me to promote their events. They give me free passes. I get to go to those for free. It's so, it's kind of funny when it's, it's very old school, very, it's almost like we're at a car show in uh, Bodo, Saskatchewan or Provost, where it's just like, you know, so, but I'm not gonna go there. I just think it's funny. I just wanted to add that to the video and uh like i say there's gonna be obviously more great content this is just uh something it was literally something to do while i was at home so um i guess it is what it is and uh i kind of think it's funny on behalf of dragons custom car show from 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 their perspective like and you know what nothing against Gary Gary's a great guy me and Gary support one another's channel 
we do. Uh, I support Gary's channel, he supports mine. Um, there's nothing there. I don't want anything to come over this over me and Gary or blah, blah, blah. That's not what this is about. This is about, this is strictly about Dragon's Car Club and the way they run it. Like, um, I, I hate to say it, it's not that special. So that's just being honest. Um, it's a small town car show. It's a small Saskatchewan, whatever car show um compared to what i'm used to doing and that's not even coming to you guys in a cocky way that's just being honest so you know what i look forward to big car shows like langley good times cruising biggest car show in north america so uh stuff like that right like where they treat me like gold where it's here it's just like oh who you know who the hell is this guy and i'm not expecting everybody to know me or these people to know me because that's not what this is about I honestly I don't care it's it's just the fact that they think that I'm gonna be making money off this video I would have made 50 cents off this video off of a video of dragons right so I mean I'm I don't do YouTube to make money for the ad revenue I don't do it for for the money I do these videos I make videos for a passion I'm a vlogger because I love like making videos and I love looking at cool cars so um that's what I'm gonna keep on doing. So, I mean, I have tons of content uh, and it's just, like I say, I figured it would be a cool thing to cover because I grew up going to this car show and seeing the way that the management has kind of, you know, uh, treat, treated me through all this. I mean, not, not horrible treatment, but at the same time, it's also, it's pretty bad taste in my mouth. So, uh, yeah. That's her for today. I mean, uh, definitely a little bit, little bit lost for words when it comes to some of all this. Uh, and like I say, there's uh, not much else I can say. So I guess uh, stay tuned. And uh, like I say, there's gonna be a new build coming to the channel really soon. Um, either K5 Blazer 6.7 Cummins Swap 68 RFB or a 69 C10 factory fleet side short bed factory fleet side short bit lt4 supercharged uh t56 something like that i guess we'll see it's between the two um there's no k5 six seven cummins in the world with one ton axles so i think that would be a cool a really cool swap or a really cool conversion to do just because of the content and nobody's ever done that before and some people think oh six seven blah blah, blah. no this six seven would be different this six seven would have a second gen manifold swap uh at 66 big big old turbo 80 mil turbo uh get mike at extreme to build me a 68 rfe billet input actually I already got a quote on the trans that i want to get built for it so there's options what i'm going to do uh next I don't know we'll see it's up in the air right now um kind of a big decision right because i'm gonna be the one that's investing all the money into it so it it has to be right for the channel and it has to be right for resale value something that i can make money at bear jackson with so i guess uh stay tuned and like i say this is just uh it's uh, this is it's not the first time i've been snubbed at all um i've been snubbed many many times before uh and it seems like it's always in saskatoon so i mean post getting deleted and stuff like that from shifters uh i didn't say anything bad there wasn't anything bad there um and then you go to last summer where i got snubbed from friday night classics for no reason just video was uh too good of content i guess um i don't know now this and it's always in saskatoon never once have i been snubbed in vancouver weird hey uh it's weird how that works so anyways have yourself a good day good uh easter long weekend probably gonna put this out this evening and uh go from there so i guess uh yeah just banging gears pulled the ctsv out yesterday and just gonna have some fun and enjoy my spring here in saskatchewan and uh yeah so take care Stay tuned. Yee yee.